and welcome. It is another Prototype Toronto League Top 4 cut. Uh, and tonight we have a very special draft format, uh, which we'll get to see shortly. Uh, I'm here with Sumit. Hello, hey, hello. Sumit. How are you? I'm good, man. How are you? Excellent to be back. So we've got uh, five draft picks on the table. So the format is this. Each of them secretly brings 60 points of ship. Okay. Um, and then we have five choices of 70 points. So they each get to pick two. Aaron Dater has first pick. Then Evan will have second and third pick. Aaron D has brought Saw Guerrera in the U-Wing. Uh, and he's equipped with Leia, uh, tactical officer, and rigged cargo chute. So that's a very powerful ship to bring into this context. Mm -hmm. And Aaron's been loving the U-Wings ever since um, a long while, to be honest with you. He loves to play Rebels, and that kind of fits within his playstyle. So I wonder if he might try to go for model count. Yep, indeed he may. It's not a bad idea for him. And uh, then on the other hand, we have Evan. Evan's brought Palob with the title and trick shot, mm -hmm. Which is, I think, 60 points on the nose. Uh, so the five choices we have are on the top left, we've got a blue squadron, RZ-2, with Heroic. We have Greer Sinel with Heroic. Mm -hmm. Together, they are 70 points. And then on the far right, we have Kato Lichos. He has concussion missiles mm -hmm. uh, and trick shot. Mm -hmm. And we have Foreman Proshin, I believe is his name. Uh, and he has crack shot. Uh, Kato's ability is that he can take a focus from an allied ship uh, at the top of engagement. And uh, Foreman Proch, it's Foreman Proch, sorry, yep. wrong dude. Foreman Proach can uh, take a disarm token uh, to affect someone with a tractor beam if right. they are in his bullseye. Yes. Um, and then uh, at the back, we have a great big Dark Courier. The Dark Courier has Grievous, has Count Dooku, and has the Scimitar title. And to bring it up to 70 points, it also has Munitions Failsafe. Then uh, we have the two mini aces. Mm hmm. We've got the Zizor with the mostest. That didn't rhyme at all. Uh, he's got FCS, Trick Shot, and Proton Torpedoes. Right. And then we have a Rogue Squadron Escort. And he's got FCS and Proton Torpedoes. Excellent. So in picking ships, uh, they've got to be cognizant of what they're leaving behind for the other guy to pick. This is an intermingling of factions. It's one of the more fun uh, avant-garde style uh, versions of the game that we kind of developed. Oh, it's, I mean, it's popular around the entire play area all around the world. People use versions of this out there. It was a great way to help spice up during the waiting years of 1.0, and it's been just as fun in 2.0 as we've seen, as we will hopefully see today. You might want to go with the RZ-2s yep. and the E-Wing, because those are fast ships. Um, that gives you two I-4s and an I-1 blocker. And you're, as you were saying, it gives you three ships, so it ups your model count, too, depending on what it is you brought Absolutely. with you. Absolutely. On the other hand, you might really want Zizor in that Dark Courier. Mm -hmm. A really heavy, sh big ship with lots of health can back Zizor up in a great way. Zizor's right. ability, of course, is he can pass a hit or a crit to an ally at range one instead of taking it himself. And that Dark Courier having a lot of hit points to deal with he does, can help yeah. keep Zizor in the game even longer. Yep. And then Kato combos beautifully with tons of people. Also, Foreman Proach is an interesting, got an interesting control factor going on there. I feel like Proach is one of the mining guild ties we haven't seen very much of, though. No, uh, no. I mean, when Sivor is there, why bother with him? Absolutely. All right. So I think we're going to move on to the drafting process. And then get our two opponents in for some interviews and then get into the action. All right, joined with the illustrious Arian D. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling okay. Awesome. So yeah. we're just going to quickly bug you. I want to pick your brain and think about you had first pick in the draft, correct? Yes. So I want to see why you picked, uh, I believe you went for the Dark Courier first? Uh, the Rogue Squadron Escort. Ah, okay. Yeah. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what your thought process was there? Um, it's, uh, so there's a couple things. Mm -hmm. uh, the first is I have Saw, so I want big beefy ships mm -hmm. because if the... A-Wings or, or the Z-95 dies too fast, it, it does nothing to me, mm -hmm. for me. Um, the second thing is we have two ships with Proton Torpedoes here, the Rogue Squadron Escort and Prince Caesar. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to make sure that he didn't have both mm. of those ships. And um, I am better at flying E-Wings. Uh, 
So uh, there's a lot better chance that I can get uh, the E-Wing off with both a focus and a target lock. Uh, for replacing rocks, I just wanted to place like giant uh, laneways where I possibly could, mm -hmm. which I pretty much got. Um, and now uh, like I'm going to joust, hope the, the initiative one A-Wing doesn't block me and take something off the board. Um, as fast as humanly possible. Makes sense. Never the bad choice. Yeah, exactly. All right, well, I look forward so, to seeing the game. Thanks, man. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Yeah. Hello, Evan. How's it going? Pretty good. How are you feeling? Uh, not not the best with this. Uh, losing the initiative roll was big for me. Yeah. Uh, with him having two I-4s and me having two I-4 aces. Yep, this looks like a rough matchup for you here. Yeah, but, uh, you know, if I can if I can draw him into shooting at Zizor, I mean, I think he'll, he'll go for... Um, Pal up, but if he if he goes for Sizer, then I can draw some some damage away with the A wing. So, right, I can hope that works out. And Greer is going to have to get her button button gear. Yeah, she can make it over there. I, I hope that he doesn't go the fast first turn. Mm -hmm. Hope he kind of stalls a bit and then then goes fast. If he goes fast first turn, yeah, Greer's a bit out. I also need time for Pal up to get her token her uh, his tokens up. It was a mistake putting Pal up in that corner, honestly. But right. what can you do? This is the situation. Yep. All right. Well, good luck, man. Thank you very much. All right, so this uh, series of one straights on uh, Aaron's side has given Evan an opportunity to break out of the joust, which he really did not want. Yeah, you could see in the first turn how Evan did whatever he could to get out of that yeah. jousting position and try to come back around and engage more in the middle. Well, it's really bad for him. I mean, like, he can't take one of those ships off the board. It's highly unlikely. Mm -hmm. um, and if he fails to and puts a damage card on it, he gives rerolls to that ship. Mm-hmm. So, because of Saw. So with Saw Guerrero on, Ev on Aaron's side, with Saw on the Aaron side, it's going to be advantageous for Aaron to try to spread that damage around as much as he can. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's a powerful ship. Yep, yeah, it is. Zero yeah. to three. It's zero, a range zero to three, yep. Yeah, I mean, he was amazing in 1.0. Mm -hmm. He's really only not taken because there are better budget options, like Cassian is super cheap. Right. A blue Squadron is super cheap. Well, as you can see, it's a 60-point ship, and most of the times we're seeing a lot of Rebel players are running yeah. U-Wings just to carry Leia. Yeah, and uh, here we have rig cargo shoot and so on, but I mean, that's because of the nature of the draft. Which is one of the reasons why I really enjoy this format, though. You get to see builds on a ship that you might not normally do in an optimized, you know, straight-up list, whereas if you're trying to get a ship out to 70, you can sometimes have a little bit more fun making something a bit beefier than you normally would. Yeah. Looks like Evan's going to try to bring all of his fast ships back around to maybe come in from a flank up this direction. Or maybe go this direction. Well, Palob has Slow. to do this. Yes. So he focuses and boosts with the with the target locked A wing. What's the fastest forward blue that the Hawk has? Do you remember offhand? Uh, I think it's three straight. I see. So we can expect to see that probably. Yeah. Well, the dark courier is going to have range here. I mean, Palob's in a rough position too because Palob can't steal a token from the dark courier mm -hmm. or rather it, he could steal a focus but Aaron doesn't have to focus because he has Dooku so that's the reason that Aaron is now taking a lock on Pelop is the three straight because he has to yep he may well boost here as well he just wants to get that focus, focus oh, yeah, stack he's up he's just going to focus take the shot through the rock yeah now if the rogue squadrons lock on um the blue squadron was a feint. Um, he may well come forward fast with the rogue squadron and get that lock on Palo. Mind you, oh no, he can t so he can, he can coordinate a boost into a lock or an anything into a lock on the E wing, and that then okay. he can clear it with the one or twos. This yep. is actually kind of an interesting little setup he's got here. I got a the E wing is a great ship. Hopefully, we'll be able to start seeing it more and more. I mean, this kind of feels like the most. Uh, competitively viable build for one right here at the 70 point sweet spot. I mean, you could probably make the argument to drop the FCS, but yep. giving it proton torpedoes with its ability just means like it's, it's almost like the way it was meant to be played. So he's barrel rolling Zizor, giving him some, some, self some space. Attempts to salvage the game state. Mm -hmm. Not precious game state. This game's unplayable now. We have to go back with the start all over again. Start all over. Mm -hmm. It'll never be the same. So do you have any worry here, though, that Evan's really leaving his pal about to dry, potentially? He has to. Mm -hmm. I mean, he had to get out of the jousting situation or he would have lost the game. Mm -hmm. And Greer is not engaging herself. So, you know, he's trying to draw him out. Well, the rocks is where Evan's listening to be much more effective with all the barrel rolling and the boosting abilities that it has and how fast most of his ships are. 
Mm-hmm. Well, the Ewing is no is no slouch though. Losing the role for choice of player mm-hmm. uh, was really rough for Evan. Yeah, as he was saying in his interview, having the two I four aces, he really wanted to have that initiative or that choice on yeah. it. So, so he's going to do a coordinate because there's nothing else for him to do. Yeah, so he's coordinating the boost, which I would imagine we'd see a target lock link action here. Yeah, unless it's lock boost, which I think is what it is. I think it's so he's boost done it. lock. Is it? I think everything links into the lock on the E wing. I think because it's supposed nope. to be. Oh, you might be right. All right, so he didn't have range to pal Aha, anyway. it is yep. boost lock. You're right. So he could have done it. Mm-hmm. I guess because the two bank isn't blue. Without the R2 oh, unit. Right. So he could still lock, though. If he's got yes, he could. Action. That's his regular action. Yeah, but he's going to be a proton torpedo shot with only one mod. That is only the re-rolls. So if you're Aaron, where do you want to use that proton rolls. torpedo? I set up for next round. Who are you wanting to tag with your proton torpedo if you're Aaron? I mean... Halab's always a very juicy, enticing target, though. I would have thrown it at him there. Yeah, we would try to go on four forward, getting this element of surprise. Or you want to keep the the E wing the heck away from Palop. You want to keep it at range three mm-hmm. because you know what Palop does. Mm-hmm. But if you can somehow get into range three, sweet stop with the proton torpedo and your lock, a double modded proton. Oh, he's doing the barrel lock. rolling into lock, so he's still going to do it. Sorry, he's bar- he's barrel rolled into. Yeah, you're right. So you got a little bit of uh, Aaron just trying to say, is there any way that I could potentially check while I'm checking for range if it's obstructed? And Evan rightly said, unfortunately, no. I mean, if you happen to glance it while you're measuring, yes, but you can't go out of your way to double check obstructions while you're yeah, measuring you're range. Yeah, you're supposed to be measuring range. Okay. Which I think was the right call. Table Judge Christian is saying, do you want me to check that so I can do something here? So will be checking to see if there's... I think he's looking for obstruction, yeah. Yeah. What does Evan need to have happen here, too? Obstruction and blanks. Mm-hmm. If Palab gets away with only one damage taken... That would be splendid. Yeah. I mean, he's taking fire from the Dark Courier as well, who has the Force Point to spend. Mm. So there's a lot coming in on Palab here. He mm-hmm. needs hot dice on the defense. The Dark Courier is behind the Rogue. So in the next round, it'll have to overleap the Rogue or slam into him. Right, unless he chooses to... Well, no, he can't cloak now because that would have been an action. So they're calling so, it obstructed. Yeah. So that's one thing Evan wanted. Now Aaron's setting if he even wants to use torpedo with one mm-hmm. with one mod only against yep. three atta- three defense dice. He's just doing the calculations in the head now. Mm-hmm. What would you do? Did you fire the port? I mean, you have two shots of it. I'm inclined to say I'd still go after it anyways. What would you do? I'd definitely go after it. You'd still take the fire? you still fire the torpedo anyways? Yep. Yeah, I think so. You want to. we got to get Palab off the board ASAP. Yeah. Especially now that Evan's... I mean, suppose you get the same result with the dice, right? Except one more. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's hot. Uh, hot, hot, hot. Yep. FCS. Yep. FCS to reroll. So hit, 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 crit. And Palab will spend one and take. That's what exactly what Evan wanted. Yep. It's exactly what I Aaron mean, probably he didn't want. All green dice, all paint on his dice, but. Yeah. What's the back? And here Palab shoots back on a five dice defense. You. Okay, so he, the Dark Courier is not in range. Yeah. So I've been using Trick Shot. He spends the focus. So the E Wing could end up taking damage here. He does. It looks like it takes two. Wow. That's a lot of damage, which I don't think Aaron expected to take that. I mean, that's the thing about these long range defense dice when you don't have any mods. Mm hmm. You get heartbreaks like that. You're like, you oh, do. five. You it's do. an E wing at range three obstructed. Sure, okay. shoot at him. Oh, wait, what? Shields down. So, crazily enough, Palob has exchanged one shield for two on the Rogue Squadron. That's definitely not the turn that Aaron wanted to have on his opening engagement. No, no that was some sweet flying there. Um, and he got lucky that he had the block. What do you do now if you're Evan? You've got a nice spot for everybody but Palob and that blue. Well, the problem is, is Palab has still essentially been hung out to gra- dry. I mean, Greer can do the hard two and come in that way, but mm-hmm. even with the boost, is only going to end up there, which isn't very far in. Um, Dallin, w- sorry, she's or what three bank boost, but then you have no mod. No, no. no. And it's then, and then this, and this blue is going to have to hard two and then boost and have his arc forwards anyway. So um, it could two turn the other way and rotate the arc. That is true. That is true, but here's it a could, chance. Will a two bank fit beyond Zizor? I don't think so. What is the fastest forward the Dark Courier can go? 
uh, four, I believe. Okay. So that would uh, that looks like it would hit the rock. You think, yes, so I think you're right. I think it's three bank or just bump behind the uh, E-wing. But now the E-wing is kind of hung out to dry too. I mean, it is a tough ship. Mm -hmm. Now it can't be coordinated here because he stressed himself. Unless, of course, he moves first with a one forward. Oh, he does then, move before Saw. Yeah, and then right. Saw yep, can do yep, a hard yep, two yep, and still right. coordinate him. Even more so with the way we've truncated initiatives in this edition, it's been it's making the coordinate even more powerful where you're able to do more with it than you would previously have. So what do you think Palab does? Four straight and boost? Four yeah. straight's white. Four straight and then focus. Four straight and focus. You want the focus that because he took almost no damage right there. You're still in the game. I might even be inclined three to three bank. Mm -hmm. Well he wants that trick shot daring, if possible, daring, right? Daring. Three bank boost potentially. Mm -hmm. Whereas Arc is pointed, maybe he doesn't care about the focus. I mean, I feel like you want that focus stack. It's that incredible insurance blanket to have those two focuses to sit on. Yeah. And it's still very early days for you. You've only taken one damage. But if Aaron really decides to pour on the heat onto his Palab, he's got maybe, Evan's got maybe two turns where Palab dies. Well, I mean, Palab will probably die next turn if Aaron wants him to. He's mm -hmm. still got the target lock with mm -hmm. the rogue. And mm -hmm. then he, he, he can take a shot with the Dark Courier. Uh, it also has a lock, so it's got full mods. So it's two double modded shots, seven dice. Very likely that wipes Palab out. Right. Um, so Evan could if be... he somehow gets Saw in there as well, I don't think he can. Think it, no. Do you think Evan could be daring with Palab and, uh, and two turn him in towards the E wing to steal tokens? If you didn't yeah, go down, go down and fight, call. just joust. Yeah, just go down Focus, and rotate, arc forward. Yeah. I mean, have you ever? I've jousted an, an Palab before with a defender and lost. He could two turn and boost. Yeah. Yeah. It's an option. I mean, as you said, if you feel like it's gonna, if it's gonna go down anyways, if you're gonna sack it, yeah. you've technically got the advantage. Maybe now is the time to do a crazy maneuver. Now, Evans usually a very cautious and methodical player, though he does does not normally do but, um, av avant garde moves like that. Always, he's usually very more planned, three or four turns ahead, and he's gonna yeah. kind of set up a trap in a net. So I don't know if he would go for that. But if, as you say, he he decides that he's toast, mm -hmm. then he might just do it. Choosing his fate, basically, how he wants it to mm -hmm. do. Now, there, there is sometimes some power in that. If you feel like you know your ship is going to die anyways, it's not the worst decision to try to get an advantage in position out of it before you lose it. Yeah. You don't want to trade it for nothing. And here's the thing is, is if, if Palop can get the block on uh, the E-Wing, mm -hmm. uh, Zyzor can, can two-turn and target lock. Mm -hmm. Although Zyzor will probably just two-turn and focus. The blue playing its role as bait has led it to a place where it's not in a great situation to come back in. I mean, it could two-turn and boost. Well, it's also stressed. Yeah. So Even if it wasn't, though, it doesn't have all that many places to yeah. go. Yeah, so as you said, is it two-turning this Left way, or, or is right. it two-turning this yeah. way? It might actually make Neither more sense right. to two-turn this way, rotate rear, so that way you can come back around that way. But then you're by yourself against the rest of his forces as well. I think you just decide that the the, uh, the blue isn't shooting this round. Yeah, I think and so. You, you just stick him somewhere where he can come back into it in a good position next turn. Mm-hmm. And not block Zyzor is really important move. Now, I do believe the Star Viper, Z Zyzor, has um, multiple linking actions from the focus or the barrel roll. I just remember yep. how, it actually, uh, how so, that actually happens. Yeah, it's it's booster or barrel roll. So there is some pretty awesome there. options to hard two and then banky boost and still have the linked focus. I mean, there's lots of ways that you can get Zyzor back in the game. But his problem is, is that he moves first. So there's no real element, element of surprise there. Is he making that? Well, we're going to mm, see. It's close. That was close. Mm -hmm. That was very, very close. All right, Evan, if you're watching this, I told you, are you sure you wanted to use them in our practice game before this? That's okay. If Corrin comes fast, he'll have a shot on him. Yeah. I mean, as I said before, Ev the trick to Evan's strategy here is, like, waste a single ship. Take it out. The one he's closest to having a chance at is that rogue. So Aaron is trying something here? Yeah, that's a bump. But he doesn't really care about a bump here. He's going to have Palab and Ark. Yep, and as you said, he has the Force token as well. Yep. That does, however, mean Saw doesn't have that much room to move back there. Can Saw one straight? Maybe. I can't tell. I don't have enough experience with medium bases to know if that clears or not on the one straight. I mean, medium bases are weird. First uh, few times I flew with them, I was like, well, I guess I'll try this. Mm -hmm. probably bump. And then I was like, whoa, that's, that's it? it? Cool, that's what I meant. I knew that was happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole different type of muscle memory now to remember what fits and what doesn't. Yep. There's a joke in there, and we're not going to make it. It's tempting, though. It's tempting. <laughs> there it oh, is. Oh, there he did. He went for it. That makes sense. Focus. Covers covers a large, large range with his arc. If that Ewing I mean, comes fast. You can fast. see now that Saw isn't a great big threat. It's going to be a range three mm -hmm. at best from Saw. Aaron so said interesting when he did the 
when Evan did the two turn. Yep, a focus boost is what I expected to see. Yeah. Yep. And if Sai does a two forward, he might might catch him. I mean, it's tempting to sit there and and see if you can get Corn at all. I don't know. I mean, that's a nice spot for Greer for the future. Just like you were calling to turn. I think we'll obviously see a barrel roll here. Oh, he's on it. So that clipped the the gas cloud. No actions. Paylob's got Paylob. So at this point now, you've already got a target lock. You don't boost because you're already in range one. You can't really barrel roll. There's no point in barrel rolling. He's simply not taking an action. Yep. Which is where the power of Paylob shows in. So I was definitely going to bump here. Unless he does a two. Two turns should clear. two turn. Okay. So that will give him the coordinate, which doesn't do him any good at this point. Unless he now wants to coordinate the Dark Courier to a cloak. <laughs> which would be a stress cloak, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's been no point that thing. No. Why does that thing no, even have so a cloak? Good. Yeah. Just going to focus. <laughs> now, Zizor is in a terrible position for next round. Yeah, because he's going to clip the glass cloud again, which means yeah. no action next turn. And that was a turn he's probably going to definitely want to have his barrel roll option. I mean, the nice the nice news is there's very little chance that anybody's going to hurt him through that cloud. But Aaron's deciding to take a target lock instead. And Evan flying casual, allowing him to change his action. Oh, he does have trick shot. Oh, Saw's got trick shot. So he's deciding it's unobstructed. One crit. Yep. It's too bad if you just done the one there. Yep. And the mini Corrin is okay. Mm hmm. He, yeah, I suppose. So rear onto the nave. Yep. Oh, sorry, rogue. Yeah, under the rogue. Yep. Range one with target lock. Can Pelop get lucky again? Nope. No, nope. he's not lucky. He's definitely not going to get lucky. Oof. That's much hit, paint. Crit, crit. Much paint. Three. Nope, he's still he alive by one. Him, unless the crits kill him. Console fire. He's and alive by one. Alive. So console fire could still kill Paola, but it'll Not happen as an act exactly. Yeah. So, uh, into Greer. Carnage. Mm -hmm. So uh, has a lock. He seems to be thinking about whether or not to spend it. I think maybe he wants to wait for a range one shot. Maybe. You'll get it soon. Four dice of the focus. He might, yeah. I think that makes sense. And Greer yeah. is fine. So Paylob will roll for console fire. Here comes the console fire roll. Paylob is so dead. So is dead to the console fire. But he gets to shoot. Still gets to fire. Okay. Hit, hit, crit. Okay, so Count Dooku is being used, and he's calling it an evade. This means he gets at least one of the number. And that's it. So uh, Evan was really hoping for something better than that. So only one shield down off of that rogue. So the rogue is still is on full hull now. So the rogue is down. Aaron down. is very happy about that. Yes, he is. The only good news for Evan there is it means it doesn't trigger Saw's ability on him. Nothing. Right, because you have to have damaged cards for Saw's no. ability to go. No, and because of the position of the arc. So this is put Evan in a pickle for this next round. Yep. Yeah, I feel like he, he wishes he would have hard won with, with uh, Zizor that time. Or come up this way, and then come in around when all of his ships would have been coming in together. Yeah, I mean, he wanted to get in there as quickly as possible to get on the overextended E-Wing. Mm -hmm. That's why he did the two. It wasn't a bad call. They were just saying that that, that range one shot from the Rogue was pretty hot. Mm -hmm. It was indeed. Yeah, you think that Spalub had mods the entire time. You feel like he should have made it one more round. Could have. I mean, the Dark Courier still had a shot. Yeah. And, you know, dice mods are different now. You you take damage more often mm -hmm. than oh, not. Oh, yes, for sure. Surprisingly so. I'm still having trouble getting adjusting to the fact that you just take damage yep. all the time. Yeah, and one of the big changes is without auto thrusters at range 3, your ships can take damage mm -hmm. at range 3, whereas you used to, with a lot of your aces, just hang out at range 3 and go, ah, I'm fine. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely a positive change, even though I'm used to flying aces myself. It's... 
definitely positive because every shot's now worth taking. There's always a chance. So yeah, if this does feel very strongly like the turn to use Leia. The question is now, if you're Evan, what are you going to do with that blue squadron mm -hmm. recruit? Do you, because your arc is rear, assume that you're going two turns to turn back around, or are you going to come this way and then you have to focus rotate? I think you turn back in, focus rotate. You need pressure. Yeah. Yeah, and as you as you called it, Aaron's using Leia. So you announced that at the beginning of activation? Yes. That you get the start of activation, which is why Aaron showed the card before he even moved any of his ships, because you're supposed to do that. Oh, wow, he's not even focusing. No. That also does make sense to me, to be honest with you. Evan's trying to get back into the game in an aggressive way because he's down one ship now, and he needs to get that blue in there to be blocking, and he needs that arc back, pointing back in the right direction. Now, the only way to rotate the arc of a RZ2 is by linking it. You can't just um, just rotate it, so he could have focused and rotated, but the yes. boost did make more sense to me. Yeah, and he's looking at this. What's going to be a fully modded shot if that is what the Dark Courier wants. Greer, Greer. balls out. Raging in. Uh, I don't think she can boost. Size are knowing you no choice. He's going to go over that cloud anyways. Might as well put his ship where he needed to go. And he's going to hope that the blue is range one of Zizor so he can shift damage around. So I think then that means the rogue squadron is going to sloop and then, yeah, target lock probably because you'll have something. Sorry? Uh, Aaron doing exactly what we thought he would. Now he's yes. got coordinate that focus. I see a target lock coming. And you'll probably take that as Zizor now. Oh, so he was not able to target lock Zizor because now the E-Wings can only target lock can things in range. Can you bring us up, uh, Zizor's card text, please, Victor? Thank you. Okay. So Zizor rolls. Nice. And hit, hit, who, crit. Who's he attacking? He's, he's talking the Dark Courier because he's yep. wondering if he okay. should be using Grievous or not right now. They're just trying to figure out if Aaron can use a General Grievous' card right now on this defense roll. Just when you defend, if, the, if there are two or two or... Which he can do. Yep. Yeah, yep, which he absolutely fine. does. So he takes one. He's taking two after the neutralize, and then he can use Grievous to neutralize yep. one more. That is an incredibly powerful card. Yeah, it is. Especially on a big base, one of eight ship. Very, yep. very, very powerful cheap. card. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Greer is also attacking the Dark Courier. One. Just one. From the original shot. And then he takes one more. Takes one more. So shields down on the Dark Courier. Oh no, sorry. Three damage in. Three damage in. One shield remains. Saw is going to shoot Greer. And I think he's got a lock. Yep. Yes, indeed he does. She's being spent. Hit crit only. And takes both. Only. I don't know. Oh, she he's going to focus. Take one. Focus. I've been realizing she's taking two. Yeah, because he's got to get back into the game. Torpedo into Zizor. It wasn't Zizor, wasn't it? Or no? As he locked. He locked Greer because he. Oh, okay. Could only take things at range three and further. No, is he? You can do. I don't know why he locked Greer. So there's all the damage coming in at Greer. She can't survive. She cannot survive. And she is dead. The good news is Zizor has made it thus far. Nothing. And, oh yep, the Dark Courier shooting Zizor. Mm -hmm. He's still got the force. He's still got the force to mod this. So yep. Who knows what will happen. Zazor, which I think is the right choice. For two. Two. And Zazor manages to evade one. The blue takes one. Oh, they're checking for the range. So Zazor gives the damage to Blue Squadron. I mean, why not? Yep. Dude's in the resistance. Yep. Zazor has no love for them. Nope. And I mean, you need to preserve your 70 point ship. Yeah. Who still has yet to be able to fire start his proton torpedoes and has to turn around next time. Leia cannot be used this turn. Nope. The rogue is in a wonderful position to uh, harass Zizor from behind. So the good news is the blue's in a good spot to block. Saw can just stop again, though. He can stop. Um, but the 
blue can block. So we've got three sloops, I believe, from the infiltrator. Maybe it's two. No, it has two a 4K, doesn't it? 4K and two sloops. The 4K is dicey. I, it's hard for me to tell here. I wouldn't. I'm not sure if you'd clip that rock or not. Yeah, I can't tell either. And then the two. But the A-wing certainly can't block it. Yep. So he might do the 4K anyway and not care if it ends this round on the rock. Yep. Just to get the position. Just to get in behind it. Yeah. yeah. But the, but then knowing that Aaron could just uh, Evan could just two forward and rotate focus rotate rear. Yep. Or four forward focus rotate rear. But the problem is, and that hangs the the blue squad out to dry against that E-wing, which yep. is probably just going to one forward and just take pot shots at whatever is available to him. Yes. All the onus here is now on Evan to try to get back into this because Aaron's in a superior enormous, position right now. Enormous amount of onus, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, Evan's opening went about as well as it could do. Um, and, and uh, you know, he was, he was hoping for slightly hotter dice, which is what he had to hope for. I'm not saying he deserved them or anything. I'm of course. Saying, I'm in, just saying. In the situation that he was when in. When you're down, you try to get a good position and hope for good dice. Yes. Um, unfortunately, that hitting that cloud with his eyes are was... Well, I think he would, if he watches the back end, he's going to say he wish he would have done the hard one because then he could have barrel rolled Dale in over here. Yep. Try his eyes, or then at least he could have won forward and had a target lock to at least use his Portland Torpedo last round. Well, he can't uh, roll into a lock. He can only no, but he could have he could have rolled into a focus that two turns ago, and then he could have won forward, cleared, and have a target lock on this this the round that we just finished. Oh, perhaps. And at least have used his Portland Torpedo. Yeah. Because he still hasn't been able to use it once, and now he has to kind of, kind mean, of try turning around. If you could get rid of that E Wing, the Proton Torpedo is money in the bank. Mm -hmm. Allow him to go through the other guys, but. So I think Saw stops again, because why wouldn't he? I think the key thing here is for that uh, Dark Courier to just do the, the one straight. He doesn't mm. even care if he gets blocked by the A-Way. Yep. He's got force. Mm. He's got, well, he doesn't have Grievous, but he has force. Ah. And he's got lots of hull. Yeah. And he's going to tag something. I mean, he completely blocks up anything that Zizor might do. Absolutely. Right, Saw just stops. Because in this situation, that's way more better. I think it's almost better for Aaron to, if he can block Caesar and then get the a, the E wing up into a range one. Mm -hmm. I mean, he won't be able to pull a target lock, but it doesn't matter if he has a focus token. No. As you can see, this is a very rough turn, so that's why Evan's trying to take his time to try to figure out what he can do to get out of this, if at all. Evan yeah, just said, "There's no good place for me." Yeah. And he's he's not wrong. No. He's, there is no good place for him right. to go right now. Yeah. Focus rotate rear, which yep. makes the most sense. That was really the only place for him to go. The A Wing's carrying somebody's lock. I guess it's the dark car carrier. Yep. So one for it as you called. Yep. Which he's absolutely happy to do. Yep. And that's what Evan was saying. There's nowhere for his Caesar to go where he wouldn't get blocked. Three bank gets blocked. Hard two gets blocked. And then that'll be a focus. It's too bad this Caesar isn't Gurry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yep. So Caesar into uh, Saw. Yep. Two hits. Two hits. Saw, Saw takes, takes one. one. Yeah, so the E Wing, as you said, a range one into uh, Caesar. Sizar, Shizar, whatever, however it's pronounced. So two. Sizar takes, takes one. one. Which this is, is a, his first shield. Yeah, because the A Wing is out of range for him to pass it. Yep. And Saw. Range two, no mods. So Zazar can live. Nothing. Just saw blanks. Oh, that was lucky. That's helpful for Evan. That's what he needed. Dark courier. Right, he's locked and he still has that force token. It doesn't need either. Mm, nope. Four. And two shields down on that blue. Oh, no. It already had one shield yeah, down. So, so Chris sneaks through. Loose stabilizer. Oh, it's toast. Yeah. <laughs> Well, a direct would have outright killed it. Yeah. So who does he shoot? Well, that's a tough pickle, so... A straight kills it. A, a non-straight kills it. A straight puts it on a cloud. Yeah, create on somebody. Onto the dark, the dark courier. We'll see with the dice. He's, so he's calling an evade. So, he's, so he takes one yep. crit. Oh, uses, no, just, just the last shield. Used his Dooku ability to guarantee that evade, whether or not he rolled it. Yep. So that uh, blue squadron is in a pickle, to say the least. Can only go two forward, sit on the cloud. I mean, Can't even repair it. It can go three forward and get beyond the cloud and have a little more defense. Right. But then can't clear it for next turn and then can't turn around. 
Oh yeah, where's the board edge? Right yeah, there. It's not <laughs> so, great. <laughs> right? So one, two, two three, just yep, puts it probably there, good. and then two, four puts it there, and then it's off the board anyways. Well, I can one turn that round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. So that's this, true. This, this, if it's still this, alive. There's one chance in a million. Yeah. So as we were talking about earlier in our, our game earlier in the day, it just feels like every crit you get now is always the wrong crit. Yeah. Right? I don't know if they... I mean, I know they were... opponent is always getting like... Wounded pilot, yeah, mutants, like yeah. Whatever. But whenever you really don't need to have a bad crit, it always seems like I feel like there are other crits that Evan would have been happier to take that turn than this one, For on sure. this exact situation, this exact board I mean, state. You always want fuel leak when you're going down to one hull. Exactly, exactly. Or hull breach, like it sure. even matters. Yeah, Doesn't matter. Oh, well, sure. I mean, panic would have been pretty pretty rough. Okay, so the bad news here is that Aaron can pretty much do what he did last turn. Yeah, he can once he could. You can one forward the scimitar bump. That's what I think Evans just coming to realization. I don't think he can. Yeah, I think Evans is realizing this. He can't save yep. the A wing. His only chance is to go two straight, hit You're the right. cloud, You've two straight, it. repair yep. it. Oh no, he can't because the next turn he goes through the cloud again. You're right. So he has to do a three. He has to go three forward as you said. So his only chance is to three forward this turn. Yeah. And then two Shoots forward repair hard dice. one. It has felt like an uphill battle for Evan the whole game. Yeah, because the E wings have one bank still, don't they? Yeah. I mean, that might be a bump, but I don't think it's a big problem. No. It's Saw. Saw's got to make sure he doesn't land on that rock to clear that he stress. Just, uh, one banks to his left. Yeah, his ship left, and then yep. bumps the courier, stays off the rock, clears the yeah. stress, is great for next turn. The A Wing's going to kill itself. So yes. He's going to stop worrying about it. Yep. He's just basically going to continually jam up Zizor. for the rest of the game and harass him. Mm -hmm. I mean, you feel like the E Wing could just three bank ship left and pull the target lock and just come back around. Yep. I believe it still has one more shot of its proton torpedoes. Yep. Does not use both of them? Okay. Oh, the the E wing? No, yeah. So there you go, the three forward. That was the only call. Yep. Yeah, so Evan is on it. He's at least trying to keep his ship alive. As you said, I think the hard one will clear next turn, if it's still alive. So but if I'm Aaron, I don't even bother about it. Oh, the two turn. Yeah. Try and make space for Saw. He's just full of blood and flushed with victory. That, interesting. That's a red action? Yeah, table judge. Oh, it's, it's white on the oh, scimitar. Oh, it's white when yeah. you had the, the scimitar title, right? So, Zizor can barrel roll and choose to take a shot from somebody here. I might bendy barrel roll here and try to block Saw onto the asteroid. Hmm. Yep. That's I don't know. I mean, it leaves your flank exposed to that E-wing, but I don't know. Well, not a bad call. I would not want to be Evan this game. No. Nope. I mean, I wouldn't be because I can't make top eight, but <laughs> I wouldn't want to be even if I was. Yeah, because that E-wing could just one bank. You can do whatever it wants, really. Mm -hmm. If you get out of its range three, I'll just pull a target lock on you. If you're in its range and arc, I'll take a free shot on you. That jam really sucks. It'll go away at the end of the next turn, but it does hit hamper his... I mean, the E-Wing can kill Zizor now. Problem is, where Evan is now is a good block on Saw, which is why he just didn't want to do. And if Saw is clear with his one bank, he can coordinate. Mm -hmm. A barrel roll to the E-Wing, or yep. who knows what. Yeah. So there's absolutely nothing Evan can do there. Brutal. Which is what he was saying. Yeah. Which is why that jam was a very good choice by Aaron. It was insult to injury. We two turns, Saw. Uh, no, he's just going to shoot. Mm-hmm. Well, where Zizor was would have blocked him. Mm -hmm. I guess that's what Aaron was worried about. Well, that's about the best news that Evan could have heard. It's what Evan was saying. Six of one, half dozen the other. He was going to block one mm -hmm. and get a range one shot from the other. They both had the same attack dice. Three hits. Two. Sizor continues living. Yep. Taking only one damage. He's doing what he can. Range one through the debris cloud. Through the gas. Oh, it's unobstructed or obstructed? No, that's got to be obstructed. I think he said. Well, we'll see with the defense dice. Yeah. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. anyway. Yeah. Oh. oh, not today, mister. <laughs> Blue Squad says not today. Now watch, he blanks out. Come on, Evan, you deserve some dice now. Let's do this. Oh, hit crit. 
I think he's going to use Goduku for blink. Yep, yeah, for the evade. so it doesn't matter. Yep, it guarantees him one. No. Right. Ugh. So the question that Evan's raising now is, do they trigger at the same time? Yeah, because he, he finishes the roll, and then mm -hmm. Dooku triggers, and then the gas cloud triggers. So they trigger in the same window, essentially. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because if one triggered before, then you wouldn't be able to use Dooku. That was rough. It was. Still, somehow Zizor and the A-Wing survived. But as you said now, so now it has to go to Ford, repair mm -hmm. its crit, mm -hmm. and hope to live again. Mm -hmm. At which point... I don't even know. Does, does, I think right now, if you're Aaron, just sloop and focus on Sizor. I mean, I guess you want to get rid of that A-Wing, because if it somehow makes it back into the fight, you're, you're leaving your flank exposed to it. He's got two ships to harass Sizor with. He doesn't really have to do anything. Leia's back to full full charge, though. Are you sure? Yeah, because it has been two turns since oh. he used it. Well, then. That's rough that it recharges the turn that you use it on. Yes. I think Sizor will do some form of sloop probably to his ship left to at least get his arc back around onto Saw. I mean, he doesn't want to just train, trade shots while they have mods and he doesn't. That's bad. So, better for him to like play out the Leia turn defensively. So, a three bank boost. Get out of there. Come back around. Yeah, I mean, he moves first. So, can he hard one boost around Saw's flank? Oh, that's interesting. He can hard one boost Bait barrel the cloud. Saw can rotate to face him, mm. but he can't get an action. Saw stress. Can you rotate if you're stressed? Yep. Mm. If he's got it as a white action, mm -hmm. but uh, it does mean no mods for him. No action. I mean, he could get a little bit spicy, and he could do the hard one, and then bank barrel, and then beast ship here, right? That's arc point in that direction. Oh, yeah, the hard one will, f hard one will fit next turn if for survives. Yep. So all he has to do is survive more intense range one firepower. From yeah. The <laughs> well, I mean, he did, all a he's do. He did it last turn. Do. He did it last turn. I'm telling you, this blue, this blue squad's gonna come back and win the game for Evan. It's gonna happen. It's heroic. It's just the one forward. Yeah. <laughs> it's just continuing, and he's on the cloud at least. So at least no target lock this turn. Oh, it's gonna be obstructed. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. I if believe in you. Live. I believe in the blue. Two turn. So, do you think this? Do you boost focus? Yeah, I think he has to boost. So get in behind focus. that cloud. Evan's saying he thinks the right call is the barrel roll. He's also thinking about banking a lock and just hoping to survive. He's gonna do the smarter thing. He's gonna do yeah, a roll. Gonna do the roll. Get himself in, tucked in. I wonder if he's gonna link into the focus. Maybe not. It'd be hard for yeah, any corn he, to get arc on him. He doesn't want, and he doesn't want to be stressed next round. Mm -hmm. He wants the access to his hard one. <laughs> not corn is next. Mini corn. Yeah, 4K. So Aaron not even remembering that it it's now range one only for the E wing. It's not old school long range scanners. Yep. So old old long range scanners. He's just talking about it. Yeah. They're having exactly the same conversation. Exactly. So he's going to had earlier. So the reason why he didn't lock that previous turn when we were talking about it is because he didn't realize he, he could do it. Understand. He thought it was range one only. Really liking the E-Wing. Mm -hmm. It's not cheap, but it's very well, good. Well, moving last is really powerful. Whichever one of these two guys moved last was... you know, Could have had the huge advantage. Yeah. Especially with two uh, repositionable Range force. two obstructed. He's got one hit showing. Does he spend the lock, even though Zizor has the cloud? I think I'd hold on to it. Yeah, nothing but time. 19 minutes. Um, yeah, but you're winning? By a huge margin. Mm -hmm. All right. Full on spend spending the lock. it. He gets one more. Zizor and he can't even, damage cause he can't can't convert, even convert that. That was like the literal worst roll, well, second worst roll I could have gotten there. Well, actually, even if he would have gotten all blanks, it would have been the same result. So, two. Wow. Zazor takes another one. Evans just not allowed to not take damage this game. Range one. Range one, but okay. So here comes four more hits, and then here comes four more evades from this heroic blue squadron. Let's do this. Believe in you, blue. Wow. 
spend the force for literally four more again. Murder. And he died. And, and at this point, Evan I think Evan's sees. gonna call it. Yeah. I mean, not much Evan could have done in that situation. He was kind of down and out on that turn where he lost Greer too, having two ships down. It was just tough for him to come back from yep. all that, uh, all the power there, and, and he, had to throw at he him. He needed better luck with Pelob, and he needed a better shot with Zizor when mm -hmm. he shot on the E-wing. There was a possibility there; it wasn't huge, mm -hmm. but there was some chance. And uh, you know, uh, the Pelob dice didn't work out. And, you know, uh, Zizor didn't get nothing. Them's the breaks, though, right? Can't have it happen all the time. Anyways, thank you all for everybody for joining us. As